28, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, again, I'm with the cheesy camera because I'm time-lapsing painting this sculpture. So, uh, and I am time-lapsing as we speak, so if you bother watching it, I'll set this camera out just before I get started on this report. Well, it's going to be a little lengthy, so bear with me. Uh, let's begin with Scott.net. Large Tapu earthquake felt across North Island. A magnitude 5.9 earthquake early Friday morning was felt widely across the northern island causing people to leap out of bed. This is in New Zealand. Uh, lightning and fire. Japan on alert after volcano's biggest eruption in 50 years. A one mile cordon has been established around a volcano at Mount Kirishima after it erupted, erupted scattering rocks and ash across southern Japan and sending smoke billowing 5,000 feet into the air. And I reported on, on that last night. We have a 6.0 magnitude earthquake in southeastern Iran. Uh, we got another storm batters the northeast United States, and that's been on the news all over the place. Indonesia, Mount Bromo volcano erupts. Jakarta, several international flights to and from the resort island of Bali were canceled or diverted Thursday to avoid dangerous ash spewing from an Indonesian volcano, official says. So we got one going off in Indonesia. Then they've got a story here, Himalayan glaciers not melting because of climate change, report finds. Uh, Himalayan glaciers are actually advancing rather than retreating, claims the first major study since controversial UN report said they would be melted within a quarter of the century. Uh, so more uh, debunking going on with that carbon scam. Now we got the the powers that be uh, scientific's voice box. Michio Kaku analyzes the Yellowstone threat to North America. There's a video above and that's the official version I'm sure. Uh, here's another volcano. Colombian Gorales Volcano. G-E-L-E-R-A-S uh, Eruption imminent experts say. And here's in Colombia. Colombian authorities have raised the risk level of the Galeras volcano to orange alert, meaning that an eruption is likely within days or weeks. And then uh, they've got a story. New York January snowfall totals break new record. The storm came in two rounds. The initial burst on Wednesday morning and then a heavier round late Wednesday through early Thursday. Unlike previous storms this season, the heaviest snow also fell in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, in addition to Philadelphia, New York, and southern New England. And, uh, yeah, they've just been having a lot of snow up in uh, the northeast United States this year. Well, we got a 5.3 earthquake strikes Tonga and New Zealand in the South Pacific. And they're talking about another planetary tremor... And then 109 earthquakes in 30 days in Iran. And that's about it for the climate update for today. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm keeping it kind of short. Uh, I'll pick up the camera and show you what I'm doing. But uh, like I said, I'm time lapsing right now. So uh, bear with me. Getting the flowers in now. And I know this flower is cheese. I still got a lot of work to do, and I want to get it done tonight. I got to work tomorrow. So, until tomorrow, enjoy what you can.